Welcome back to the Privacy Wayfinder. Graphene OS is really good at keeping the phones always up to date with the latest security patches and changes of their own. I typically run my phone on the stable release channel. However, today I was going through Graphene OS's releases page and here you can find both the stable releases and the beta releases for each type of phone along with the change logs. Currently today is October 13th and for the Pixel 5, which is what I have, the stable release is 2022-10-03-00. The beta release for the Pixel 5 is 2022-10-12-00. I was going through this page today and I saw this 2022-10-12-00 and I noticed two changes on here that are absolutely incredible. If you've been following my videos, you know that my first step when downloading an app before even using it is to go into the app permissions and turning things off that I don't need. Typically, this is the sensors toggle since most apps that I use do not need access to sensors. And if the app does not need network access, I always turn that off first. So with the latest beta release as of October 13th, 2022, I no longer have to manually adjust those settings. Here in the change log, it says in the settings menu, they've added a toggle for auto grants of the sensor permission and a couple of bullets down, there's also add a toggle for turning off auto grant of network permission to package installation UI. So let me demonstrate. In the settings, if we go to privacy, here is the new toggle allow sensors permission to apps by default. When you first download this update, it'll be on. However, for all apps moving forward that you do not want sensors permission, you can turn them off by default. And now anytime I download an app, that sensors permission would be disabled by default. So for the new network toggle permission, this permission is asked when you're installing an app. So let me demonstrate that. Let's go to Aurora store. Let's search for Authy. We'll click on Authy and let's hit install. And here there's a new option called allow network permission. So at this point at the installation phase, you can decide to disable network permission before you install the app. Our app is now installed. So let's go into settings. We'll hit apps. Let's see all apps and let's go to Authy. And now you can see that network and sensors permissions are off by default and no permissions are granted. And to demonstrate the typical install before this update, let's just uninstall this app. Let's go back to our privacy setting. Let's turn the sensors permission back on and let's install the Authy app again. So this time, I'm just gonna hit install. I'm gonna leave allow network permission on. The app is installed. Let's go to our app permissions. We'll go to Authy. And here you can see that by default, network and sensors permission are still enabled. So overall, I'm super happy about these new updates that Graphene OS has implemented. Again, this is beta. I typically run on stable, but after looking at the change log for the beta, I had to go in and try it. And I have to say just these two changes alone makes my life so much better. So those who have not switched over to Graphene OS, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hopefully these videos can help you see that Graphene OS is an awesome operating system, can be used as a daily driver. So try it out for yourself. If you don't have a Pixel, in the video description, I put a link to a used Pixel 5. That's exactly how I switched over from iOS to my Pixel 5. This is a refurbished one from Amazon, just like the one in that link. Install Graphene OS, and I think you'll be surprised.